Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 28th of December 2020 to the 3rd of January 2021. So Happy New Year Pisces as well. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and enjoy your new year. Okay, so I'm going to put, I'm doing a mini reading this week just because like so many of you, I am, uh, it's been a bit hectic this week between Christmas and New Year, but nevertheless, I want to get something out to you. And obviously, if it's still meant to resonate for you, it still will. So what do we have for Pisces, please? Angel Spirits Guides, 28th of December, 2020 to the 3rd of January, 2021. I'm going to pull three cards. First card is your challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome. And then we'll pull one final oracle card and clarify if we need to. Okay, so what do we have for Pisces, please? Angel spirits guides. Our lovely Pisces. Thank you. Oh, so your challenge position, we have the three of cups. High Priestess um, is advice from spirit and the Three of Swords is your outcome, Pisces. Bottom of the deck, oh, we have the Ace of Cups. It's not dissimilar to the reading I've had for Cancer. I mean, it's not unusual for signs of the same element to have similar energies. So let's see what we get here, Pisces. So it feels for some of you the, the Three of Cups is an interesting one. Let me get a clarifier for the Three of Cups. Let's clarify this Three of Cups for Pisces, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Let's clarify this Three of Cups for Pisces only, thank you. I'll do one more shuffle. Let's clarify the Three of Cups for Pisces only, please, for the week. What is this Three of Cups in your challenge position? Too many, too many. A lot of energy in your cards, Pisces. Let's just pull one card, please. Angel Spirits Guides, clarifying this Three of Cups. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords and the Two of Cups. I mean, this feels like separation. Um, and it's interesting because in the challenge position, this sometimes, you know, I get the energy of three is a crowd. I'm getting in the energy of either, this can be three is a crowd if it's to do with third party situations, Pisces. Um, interestingly enough, in the challenge position, it can be about closure, finding closure. Um, independence as well. So for some of you, it feels like you're liberating yourself from something, but it's a challenge. But the Ace of Swords is that you're being assisted by the hand of God, the divine, the universe. It feels like there's some separation. Now this could be, I mean, the, the Two of Cups, we do see it a lot of the time in terms of relationships. It could be a relationship here, but this can also be liberating yourself from a bond that you have with somebody. So that could be a family member. It could be a friendship. You know, it's not, it's not necessarily just linked to love, romance and relationships. This is the bond between two people that's established, the emotional bond, the bond of, of kinship. So I definitely feel that energy with this Ace of Swords of there's some separation here and that's the challenge that you've been dealing with. Now this can also be truth, you know, 
Uh, it could be truth that's caused some separation or division, some truth that's come to light. But nevertheless, it's opening up a new path for you. And there's a feeling that you're ready to find closure in this situation, to move on. And it feels in this situation that you are reconnecting to who you are, Pisces. I love the High Priestess with you because she is moon energy. Um, and you are obviously the moon in tarot. So it feels very much like you are connecting to who you are, trusting your intuition. This is your intuition, your inner knowing, your instinct is guiding you forward. Um, it's a lovely energy of the universe guiding you, giving you messages. Could be through dreams, could be through your intuition. But you're aligning to your soul path with this card. You're, you know, tapping into your soul power in dealing with a situation that may have been emotional. You know, we have some cups energy in it and this is, this is still kind of like some emotional energy here. So I feel for some of you that the message is you are being guided. Instinctively, you know how to deal with this. Instinctively, you know the decisions that you need to make. You know the path forward for you. You know instinctively what is pulling you forward. There's an inner knowing about this. Because the Three of Swords, Pisces, it can be to do with something that has tested. Now, it could have been tested your relationship. It could be some truth that's come to light that's caused some division liberation from either a relationship or a bond with somebody. Um, this can be the heartbreak card, the third party situation. And it's interesting that I was getting three as a crowd. Um, so for some of you, that seems to be relevant here. Um, can also be a third thing. So some information or something that's happened that's come into you, that has caused division in some kind of bond with somebody. So it, it feels, I mean, there's levels to the Three of Swords. It can be about disappointment, heartbreak, some truth, difficult truth coming to light that causes deep hurt, emotional pain. But there's definitely an energy of now is the time to break free of this. Now is the time to break free of whatever the challenge of this is. Because what's open to you is the Ace of Cups. Now, for some of you, this might be an apology. This might be somebody wanting to offer some kind of peace offering. Um, but the Ace of Cups is a wonderful energy of emotional rebirth, finding your happiness again on a new path. Um, and it's where God, the universe, the divine, you are the chalice and, and the universe is pouring love and light into you, into your heart. But again, this is an intuitive card, intuitively understanding how, what path you need to take now towards a new beginning. Um, you know, other meanings of this can be opportunity, new pets, um, new friendships, call it what you will. But there could be, you know, it's interesting that I'm getting the ace and then the two and the three. It, it feels in this situation for some of you, you know, there could be some kind of offer. Somebody might be apologizing for this, whatever this three of swords was. So let's get a card for this ace of cups. Let's get a card for this ace of cups, please. Okay. High Priestess reversed. I mean, when she's reversed, it can be about secrets, secrets coming to light. Um, and it could be that something has been revealed here. You know, and it might well be for some of you that, like I said, this Ace of Cups can mean either somebody offering some kind of apology as a result of that, or it could be you opening up to a new beginning for yourself, being ready to move on to greater happiness and fulfillment. 
you know it but it definitely feels in this situation i mean these are general readings as i always say this 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 high priestess it could be some secrets coming to light here pisces but it can also be about she can also be when it's reversed withdrawal withdrawing from a situation withdrawing from whoever this was or whatever this was um it might well be your, your what this path is showing you is to withdraw and go your own way for some of you so it feels quite powerful but nevertheless something that your instinct is telling you here you're being told to listen to it as well because there is an energy between these two cards listen to your intuition what is your instinct telling you because that's the right thing the ace of cups is available to you happiness new beginning the way forward either peace offering with somebody or going your own way emotional rebirth but this can be when you're not listening to your instinct that could be blocking what this ace of cups is wanting to bring into you so for some of you there's definitely an energy of some kind of hurt um, like I said emotional pain possibly third party situation or a third thing that has come in and caused some division here and there's a feeling here your soul path is available for you the way forward the universe is giving you the direction and is offering you this ace of cups saying greater happiness fulfillment contentment is ahead don't fight against what your instinct is telling you now like i said this can be secrets but it can also be about when we're not listening to our intuition you can just stay stuck in that energy if you're not careful so let's get one more advice card pisces one more advice card please it's almost like you're being told to read the signs read the signs of the situation you already instinctively know which way to go but there's a feeling of, of fighting it here so one more card for pisces please angel spirits guides as advice one more card for pisces as advice please okay okay yeah i mean this kind of makes sense so pisces it's judgment it's time to take action you have an opportunity now to make a clear judgment call and when judgment appears it's generally an energy of whatever decision or choice that you make whatever pa whatever path you choose it's going to stay with you for some time it's karmic so decisions have consequences both good and bad now you have an opportunity to give somebody a second chance here or an opportunity to go your own way and that is it that is the fork in the road and that's what the universe is telling you the message is that the high priestess is guiding you every step of the way towards the path you need to go and it needs to be from the heart you know this is somebody who's not listening to their heart they're not listening to their intuition so definitely whatever decision that you make make it from the heart um because it's easier for the mind to catch up with the heart than the heart to catch up with the mind you know it, it is that kind of energy so that's where the judgment is pisces you have some decision choice judgment to make here it feels like judgment day is looming and it is an energy of something may have happened some truth may have come to light it may have been quite quickly and you need to make some decision very you know you need to deal with it 
quickly. That's what the judgment card is saying. Um, now is the time to act. So you have two paths available, a second chance with somebody or going your own way. But the message is trust your intuition because instinctively you will know what is right for you. Okay. Powerful reading, Pisces. Very powerful reading. But I definitely feel this kind of energy of you're being watched over every step of the way here. Okay. So final message for Pisces, please. So the message is choose wisely, decide wisely. And it's from the heart. Thank you. Okay, three cards, let's go. <laughs> let's go with it. We have the monkey in a child. Don't take life too seriously. I love this because you're being protected. I mean, that's what the high priestess is doing. She is protecting you and um, guiding you. So really listen to your instinct. We have consider who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely. And again, that's part of this judgment call. We have butterfly emerging. Take the leap of faith. Wow. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Pisces. I wish you a happy new year and I will see you next time. Thank you.